For UpperMichiganSource.com, I'm meteorologist Sean Householder with your weather on demand. Well, happy Friday to you. We will see some blue sky into our afternoon. It's a warm, muggy, humid day once again today. And well, we have to talk about a few showers and thunderstorms this evening and overnight. So we have a look at our almanac from yesterday. Turns out we were a whole 17 degrees above our long term average on both the high and the low, well above our long long term expected average. We got uh, over a half inch of rain, the official reading at the National Weather Service office. And I also want to mention yesterday's date last year, the high was only 49 degrees, so not a bad day. And uh, we did enjoy a fair amount of sunshine yesterday, similar to today, I think as well. Here's a look at that large area of low pressure affecting uh, much of the upper Midwest. Some severe weather expected once again across parts of uh, the uh, Mississippi Valley, even into the lower peninsula. We could see some more severe weather there. Now there is a bit of uncertainty how much severe weather we could see today. I think we'll be rather limited. We'll be on the northern fringe of that uh, severe instability there. Now we can see some drier air working into Wisconsin along our uh, western flank there. That uh, isolated shower activity still possible this morning. Menominee getting wet towards Escanaba, Manistique. And uh, we're also tracking a few areas of fog for you this morning. Keep that in mind. And we lose that fog, I think, by lunchtime across the east. Check out temperatures as this is being recorded at the 8 o'clock hour. It's a uh, already rather muggy, mild day for us to start. Temperatures in the low and mid 60s along that Wisconsin line. Escanaba, the cool spot for now, 57. Marquette reading 60. Copper Harbor reading 59. And uh, we're still well within this warm sector and look at all this warm air associated with the uh, front side of that low pressure system. Houston reading 79. They'll see triple digits today, I think, and uh, that's out. That's almost tropical air making it in there. And so this low pressure system will be able to tap into that warm, humid air, cool air on the back side of that. We'll talk about that for the weekend. So here's a look at this low pressure. And all these white lines indicating just how deep this low pressure is. It's a pretty strong system. Some breezy winds will eventually work their way into the UP this evening. Showers and storms also possible uh, with daytime heating, and that'll allow for a lot of uh, upward air motion. Into our Saturday, we start to lose some instability. It's a chance for isolated thunderstorms still, especially Saturday morning into early afternoon. But we do have to keep the threat for rain. In fact, it'll be mostly cloudy day, I think, on our Saturday. Back to today, I think we'll manage a dry day, at least through the daytime hours in the east. Temperatures there into the low and mid 70s. A warm, muggy day in the west. Temperatures in the low 80s. Scattered showers and storms break out late in the day. A uh, fair amount of sunshine into our early afternoon. It does become breezy and uh, some gusts again 25 30 miles an hour possible or more. Showers and storms uh, likely overnight. Lows fall into the low and mid 50s. A quick preview of your Saturday. Winds eventually shift from uh, the south over to the west and northwest, but it's still breezy as that front or the main area of low pressure gradually works eastward. Showers, a few isolated thunderstorms still possible. Temperatures generally into the mid and upper 60s, low and mid 70s. Your TV six day forecast lingering rain into our Sunday. We finally dry out by Sunday evening. Sunday night will be a cool night with lows falling into the low 30s. Could see some patchy frost. Another cool night on Monday with lows in the 30s. We dry next week, but uh, it's really slow to warm up. Highs will only be in the low 60s. The next chance of rain Wednesday into Thursday. Have a great weekend.